the Puma Ultra 1.4s, I feel like for a speed boot, it's good for wide feet players. You can use it if you've got wide feet as well. Um, so a good alternative to the Mercurial Vapor 15s and the XP Portal. Because those two boots are usually for narrow to normal, wide, uh, normal feet players. And wide feet players, some players struggle if they have very wide feet and others have to go half size up. Um, I've got a bit more space here actually at the front. So maybe next time I'll go for 9.5 because I ordered the UK 10s uh, for the Puma Ultra 1.4s. Uh, the material at the front, it feels more like the Mercurial Vapor 14s, you know, a very synthetic upper, very lightweight, it's a light boot, but it doesn't have the uh, Speed Portal or the Vapor 15 material feel. Those two boots are more closer together in terms of the feeling. These boots, as I've tried them on, feel more like uh, Vapor 14s, the synthetic, uh, yeah, as I said, synthetic upper. Very, very light boot as well, look if you can see. And it's very, no, it's a strong sole plate here. Very strong sole plate. Um, these are very light at the top, at the upper, but I feel like if you get stepped on, <laughs> it could hurt, especially from a, uh, from a stud. So that's something also to think about as well. If you want um, a speed boot, perhaps the Ultras might not be the one to go for because they, the material is definitely a lot more softer than the Speed Portals and the um, Mercurial Vapor 15s. But yeah, I'm gonna try both boots on and then see how they feel in terms of comfort. So this part here, Reminds me of the X Speed Flows, yeah, X Speed Flows. So they've got this material here that reminds me of the Adidas X Speed Flows. Um, it's very comfortable, very, very comfortable boot. And I can understand why some wing backs or defenders, right back or left backs or wingers, why they switched from Adidas or Nike to these Ultras. It's a very, very light, ball, light boot, sorry. Nice midfoot, very comfortable on the hill. Um, there, there isn't much of a hill cushion, but the plastic or the adhesive at the back is very, very soft. If you can see here, very, very soft. So you're not gonna get any blisters at the back of your hill as well, which is a good, um, yeah, which is a good thing. Just feeling here, yep. Yeah. So for sure, after one or two training sessions, you're gonna break into them straight away. Even the first session, they're gonna feel very, very comfortable. Next time I'm gonna go half side down, because I think I went for my usual Nike size 10s or nine point, uh, or Adidas size UK 10s. I think I'm going for a 9.5 next time. But uh, yeah, they feel very, very comfortable. Here on the toe box, Maybe it's gonna take a few training sessions to break into the front bit here because the material feels, although it's light, it feels a bit, um, it feels very strong. And strong in terms of the, the plastic is very, very hard, it's not softened yet. And I think with a few sessions on firm ground or maybe even on like a wetter ground, it will help the boot, the front bit of the boot to just soften up a bit. But overall, I would give this boot a first impression, eight and a half to nine out of 10 in terms of comfort. The pricing is actually cheaper than the Nike Mercurial Vapor 15s and the XP Portal uh, Plus or 0.1s. So you're gonna save at least 40, 50 pounds. Um, so this could be a good alternative. So if you're looking for a speed boot that is also fits for normal, narrow, wide, very wide feet um, or flat feet players. It's a good alternative for a speed boot. Comfort is good, material is nice. And if you have any more questions or if you've brought the Ultras recently as well, please comment down below on what you think as well and your opinions, because that will help out other viewers a lot. And it'll be good to have a have a debate on the comment section, yeah, to see what the 
what people think of the Ultras. But for me, I really like them. I think they're a really good boot. And I would highly recommend you to get the Ultras if you find the Nike or Adidas too pricey or you just want a different alternative. You can also get a different colorway. Um, previous colorway will be even cheaper. You can get, I've seen people get it for 110, 120, 130 pounds, which is very good for the um, Puma Ultras. The only thing about Puma is, the only small negative is the durability. Um, because I know the super light editions, those boots, they break after, you know, 10, 15 games, especially for pro players, but that's why they just keep changing. But these ultras, I haven't had them long enough, so I'm not sure this is in terms of my older ultras that I have, 1.4s. Um, I'm not sure how long they will last, perhaps maybe one season if you take good care of them. The durability is a question, but I think for one full season, it should be good. So thank you very much for watching this first thought video of the Puma Ultra 1.4s. I really like these boots and I would highly recommend you to get them. And yeah, I'll see you next time for another uh, first thought video or unboxing or comparison. And thank you very much for the support as always. And I'll see you next time.